Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to introduce myself to you good people, if I may. My name is Les Patson. V-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. And I have the honour to be the Australian cultural attaché. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not an orator. Far from it. I'm an Australian politician. <laughs> the Don Edna Everidge, as such is this little lady's name, is no longer the property of we Australians. She is no longer the exclusive prerogative of thousands of men and women exactly like me. She belongs to the world now. We've had to give her up, like Joni Sutherland like Olivia Newton-John, like bloody Rolf. <laughs> She's royal. She's the world's. Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to the old enemy on my wrist, they're open in Melbourne. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you good people to charge your glasses and drink Dame Edna's health, to say good luck, bon chance, Wonder Woman. You get up there and show those pommy I'm getting emotional now, ladies and gentlemen. This is not my intention, but I have had a drink tonight. I have partaken, as a matter of fact. I've been celebrating in the back seat of my car. So without any further ado, I'd like to welcome to the studios the little lady who is in England right now on an exchange visit with a lass whose jubilee falls this year. So I'd like you all to charge your glasses. Welcome, Dame Edna, and give... Her the clap. She said, which we do so. Hello, Dame Edna Everidge, housewife superstar. Dame Edna, in about three minutes, Australia will be ready. Is that you, Raymond? Oh, how thrilling. Oh, I'd forgotten we're going to be speaking to Norm. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hello to you. Permit me to introduce myself again, ladies and gentlemen, to those of you who might have just tuned in. My name is Les Patterson, P-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N, and it's my job to spearheading Australia's cultural penetration of the European cultural environment, not to put too fine a point on it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a confession to make to you good people out there tonight. I've had a drink. <laughs> I have partaken of liquid refreshment. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bit full. I'm as full, I'm as, full as a Catholic school, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'd be a mug. I'd be a mug if I didn't admit that fact to you good people out there tonight. But I must say this, that the show I'm viewing tonight I find very, very acceptable indeed. Very, very acceptable. For those of you who might have been watching it since we kicked off tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be saying to yourself, hello, hello, old Les Patterson hasn't just hopped into the grog. He's <laughs> hopped into a new outfit, and you wouldn't be wrong there, ladies and gentlemen. You wouldn't be wrong. You'd be spot on, because I have. Of course, I'm a wine buff, basically. But I'll tend to drink whatever is at hand under pressure, and this bottle of Ed Kelly whiskey just so happened to be in the fine cabinet under A for Aboriginal Affairs. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, that under this facade of sophistication, I'm basically a very, very ordinary bloke. But as the custodian, as the custodian of Australia's cultural and heritage, I have to keep up appearances here with me. And my other suit, the one you've seen before, if you've been watching since the show. I kicked off. The other suit has some very, very nasty stains on it. Horrible stains. Stains not inconsistent with a man in a hurry losing his footing in the bog measuring his length on the dunny floor. <laughs> Tell you how it happened. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, what a terrible 